Hi, this is Seth Gross, an architect at Argonaut. This is video number three in a series of three short videos where we look at an example of leveraging the power of Salesforce's Revenue Cloud Suite by demonstrating running a completely non-native UI against the Revenue Cloud APIs. Again, from a technology perspective, we've chosen to use Angular, Angular Material, and Bootstrap running on Heroku. However, the front-end technology will vary by project. In the first demo, we walked through the catalog and qualification rules. In the second demo, we exposed product configuration, the business rule engine, and pricing. Today, we'll look at modifying and canceling an asset through the Marketplace UI. Now, onto the demo. First, let's take a look into our account in Salesforce and within our account view our managed assets. Here we can see our DIA bundle that we configured previously, along with the prices and other assets that we purchased. Over in our marketplace, our customer can see the same assets along with any additional information associated with them. First, we're going to revise our DIA bundle to add another add-on product. I'll click the Edit Action button to initiate the change. Now we are creating a revision quote to modify our asset and starting product configuration. Here in the different accordion sections of the UI, you can see the selections that were made in the initial sale. My validated address, my term and data rate, the least router, and Wi-Fi extender. I'll go ahead and add the firewall and click continue. The marketplace is now interacting with the Salesforce configuration APIs to validate both the configuration and run the pricing rules. In the last accordion section, we've kept the mandatory installation charge for any change, which is also reflected in the price to the right. Clicking continue brings me to my terms and conditions, which I'll accept, and then I'll submit the order. Behind the scenes, this submits the quote and generates the order in Salesforce using the Revenue Cloud APIs. Drilling into the order page, up top I can see that order 586 has been created in draft status with a charge of $500. Flipping back to Salesforce and refreshing my orders, I can see order 586 for $500. Now, as I drill in and expand my DAA service, I can see the firewall and installation services. I'll go ahead and activate the order, which simulates installation complete. And now this also updates my Salesforce assets. I'll tap over to my account and refresh the page. And navigate to managed assets. I can scroll down to my DAA bundle and now we see the additional firewall and the installation services is now at $200, which represents the two installs that were completed. Now let's head back to the marketplace and navigate to my subscriptions. As I expand the DIA bundle, we see the same assets that we just saw in Salesforce. Finally, as our last item, we'll initiate a cancel order from the marketplace and confirm. This can be routed through a quote or in our case, we'll place the order directly in Salesforce. Over in our orders tab, we see the newly created order 587. Switching to Salesforce and refreshing the page, we see the corresponding order 587. As I drill in and expand the bundle, we can see that each component has been tagged for cancellation, which will affect the asset when the order completes. This concludes our third and final Marketplace demo. We saw how we can take an asset through an amendment and cancellation processes, as well as their reflection back into Salesforce. For more information, please reach out to salesforce at argano.com.